that much. Well, sometimes with everything going on in the world and in our lives, it's tough to just be happy. And if you need a little help in that regard, maybe look within. Author Maria Philippe is here and she knows how you can live your happy. Good morning. Thank you so much for being here today. Thank you so much. I'm so happy to be here. <laughs> good, good. We're happy to have you here. Uh, so talk a little bit, of, tell me a little bit about yourself and what led you to, to write this book. Well, what led me to write this book is that I had like self-help desperation. You know, I just read so many books and I would feel good Monday, you know, with affirmations, you know, I am love, I am light. And then Wednesday I would be a hot mess. You know, <laughs> I didn't have consistent happiness. Sure. And I wanted to write a book that really spoke to your heart more than your intellect because I feel that within your heart it motivates you to experience happiness at max capacity. Because intellectually we know that we're good, that we're, right. we ha we're the light of the world, that you know, we are love, <laughs> right. but we don't really live that in our lives. Mm -hmm. We're like, we are love, but let me look for my love outside of myself. Sure. Or I am abundance, but let me look for my abundance outside of myself. Mm -hmm. but the truth is, is that we are love and we are abundance. And when we come from that space of living that, a max capacity in your life, you, you'll be happy. And you know? so I think a lot of people say, you know, maybe it's things, maybe if I have this and maybe if I have this relationship and, and there was a point in your life where you really did kind of have all of those things, right? I did. I was actually, um, a, you know, national TV, uh, on national television with WWE, you know, WWF for Wrestling yeah. Federation. Um, I had a huge modeling career. I had the French boyfriend, rich French boyfriend, <laughs> and I was, I was not happy. And mm. it's because, you know, we're in the society that we're taught that everything external makes us happy. And um, we get a carrot and then we want another carrot and then we have a bunch of carrots and we're still not happy with all of our carrots, you mm -hmm. know? So I've learned this concept of having self-love and self-happiness, like happiness is within me and that nothing outside of me defines me. Nothing outside of me is my source. My source of love and happiness is within me and I have everything and I lack nothing and I live that way. And guess what? I'm happy even when there's problems the big deals mm -hmm. when there's problems. So the key is to be happy regardless of what's going on in form, whatever's going on in the world. And right now this world is a little bit of a circus. Have right. you realized it? There's a lot going on right now. You know, it's like, there's a lot going on right now. So we have the opportunity to be in this world and live it and look at it a little bit differently. Mm -hmm. Look at it through the eyes of love and really discern and see, do I want to give away my power to this problem? Do I want to give away my power to what I just heard right now from the doctor that I don't have good health? Do I really want to buy into this or do I want to really stay in truth and realize that I can see this through love or fear? It's my choice. Mm -hmm. So we're in charge of our experience. But the truth is, is to really come back to understand truly that in essence, all of us, we're all one. Mm -hmm. And in truth, we have everything and lack nothing. You know? Hey, how about that? And, and you say you can be happy all the time no matter what's going on and you in fact in your book you have about four tips or four four steps that people can kind of follow right talk us through a couple of these yeah i feel that it's really important the practicality i feel that we could read all day long all these beautiful nice things about ourselves <laughs> but we need to practice it we need to embody it in our lives at max capacity so we need to every second the second within the second from the time that we wake up to the time we go to sleep is to practice these principles of what are you thinking in your mind are you thinking what i call my book cuckoo thoughts <laughs> you know, the cuckoo mind, right. or are you in the thoughts of love? And every moment you're thinking either or. So that's pretty much, yeah. So it's either, you know, you, get, you can, but you said it's all about choice and how you choose. How you choose to experience. Mm -hmm. So things in the world are going to happen. You're going to have problems, supposedly, of the world. You're going to go through issues in life. But you have the, po the possibility and you actually have the power to discern how you're going to experience that. So you're in charge of your experience. You can experience it through joy or pain. It's your choice. And so you said you, you read a number of self-help books and, you know, by midweek you were a hot mess, right? <laughs> and so what, what led you to kind of flip that switch and and really figure out what it was that made you happy well the key was the big key was is to be in alignment to the truth so if i am love right how am i going to be in the world it needs to be in alignment mm -hmm. right so if i am love then i have to understand that i can look for love in my in a relationship in a man i can't look for love in my parents you know like they define me i need to understand that i am love and i am love and not mm -hmm. look for it outside of myself gotcha right it's all about so, the beautiful that is within us, right? <laughs> it's all within. Mm -hmm. I think that in the world we've been taught that everything is without. Mm -hmm. So everything in form is what serves you. It's your, what defines you, your job, the money, and everything. And that's beautiful. Let's be grateful for that. Mm -hmm. I mean, come on, I'm grateful for, for my life. <laughs> but at the same time, I have to understand that that doesn't define me. That's not my source. Because what happens is, is that when I don't have it, guess what? I'm miserable, mm -hmm. right? So it's very important to always, you know, the tip that I could leave you with is peace first, you know? Mm -hmm. It's always peace first. It's not like I want the job, it's I want peace. 
You know, it's, it's not that I want that job raises, I want peace. Why? Want peace. Hmm. Because if you choose peace first, then if you have the job or not, or if you have that apartment or get that apartment or not, you're at peace. Right. And then you're living your happy. How about that? How about that? And then you're doing the happy <laughs> dance. My book has a dance, by the way. We'll, dan we'll do it next time. And if you want to get the book, where can people find it? They're, they're saying, hey, I really need this right now. Where can they find your book? They can actually get it at their local bookstores. They can order okay. it. Um, and also Barnes and & Nobles, and mm -hmm. they can go on Amazon. Mm -hmm. And um, you can also go to my website, mariafilipe.org, and you get mm -hmm. some free gifts if you order it there. But um, I hope I hope that it's truly helpful for people because it's about time that we live our happy right. no matter what. Yes, absolutely. The time has come. Absolutely. Thank you so much for coming Thank in today. Thank you for having me. Absolutely.